Thank you. So we can have some short session for questions to both speakers. So I was I was wondering I, I saw a lot of uh, material or a lot of experience passing by yes. and there were only a few on the transmutation. Yes. Which seems to me like, you know, in any of these processes there should be some kind of transmutation, either of the let's say the old classical idea of cold fusion, but most of the people have abandoned this, I guess. And it's more like there's something happening with the uh, solid material on the surface which changes and which some experiments are, uh, are, are confirming. But yeah. I, I think for a solid base it would be very uh, necessary to have more okay. proof of that part of the, of okay. the line. Okay. I agree with you. Uh, but you have to remember only recently was gas experiment clean before all electrolysis. Electrolysis is a very dirty environment. So we, we have done experiment of transmutation too. We spend a lot of money and time with ICP mass, but because of contamination can be, cannot be. So the problem, we were under five. We cannot show data not completely sure because it will be fired. So it will be very, very uh, cautious. In some companies we say, it seems that now with gas loading more clean, more clean, so the data. Remember, the first data public about transmutation comes from uh, Iwamura of Mitsubishi because gas, so clean environment. Nobody can say, no, you are making some mistake, contamination, something, something like that. So to get uh, transmutation clear, need good and clean environment. And another point is uh, the sensitivity. Uh, just remember, uh, to get uh, a good signal in the ideal condition with ICP mass, we have sensitivity about 10 to 11 atoms, to be sure, one times more, or 10 times, or two, 10 times, or 10, 10 times more, because uh, to be sure about uh, contamination, so on. So we need very large amount of transmuted material. Usually, the heat was low. So you make a comparison, it can be, can be some balance. Okay. Other question? I have several, actually, but I, I'm a bit puzzled by the review of the results you presented. Um, it seems to me that you made a sort of selection of uh, the results that confirm the hypothesis that this reaction are real, but you seem to have omitted all the other results but were not able to prove the phenomenon. Yes. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I'm really puzzled how you can conclude that the phenomenon is confirmed if you, in your meta-analysis, somehow just cherry-pick the positive results. Okay. But if uh, there is a new phenomena that has low reproducibility, not understood, and the control parameters are not clear. So I cannot speak about the other experiment where, for some reason, they don't match the, the proper condition. So I can speak only such people that because we'll be lucky. They get something strange that cannot explain it using conventional chemistry or physics. Fair so enough, but what one could claim exactly the same for the positive results then, saying that there is something going wrong with the results with positive or confirming results. So, I, I, it's, it so the point is, when, when some parameters were clear, started the replication procedure. So we were, this is very important result. We need money to make replication. Japan government give money to make replication. So we have to say thanks to Japan government. Because without them, we never can make replication. And we, we were still speaking about can, cannot be. Repli uh, so the point but that, Then shouldn't you be slightly more careful in your, in your, your um, conclusions? 
My I mean, conclusion is the experiment is very difficult. The parameters that control are still now, for the most unknown, need a very big research program to clarify such key experiment, such key research for the mankind. It's my opinion, because I work there. I have seen things uh, it's, that but, never but that's, that's in my fine, life. But you you said in your slides that, that Fleischmann and Pons results are confirmed. Yes, in principle they are correct. They did understood, but now considering all the other experiments, not because of the starting experiment, well, the, 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 the good point of Fletcher and Pons, they share their result. Maybe too early, they did understood, but they start the research, so they have some merit. I know, they but that's make okay, a lot, but I a lot don't of mistakes. How can you say that this is confirmed if you have a bunch because of results in literature that, that cannot be produced? I say, results? no, I say I, because. I, I don't no, I'm sorry. Is your problem. Anyway, oh. uh, sorry, I'll, I want to explain. They start a line of research, starting with palladium and deuterium. Later, were a lot of progress using a lot of different materials, and it was clear that the nanomaterials, the surface, make a big role. At the same time, they, they didn't know. They just start as a beginner. So, like uh, Colombo went to the United States, but after there was big progress. So they are beginners. They know very well. They make a lot of mistakes, because, but bona fide mistakes. But other people that work very strongly, honestly, they found some result that cannot be explained by conventional physics and chemistry. So we have uh, two chances. One, keep the result and throw it away, I don't want to see, other analyze. Uh, uh, I decide to analyze. Actually, you made a point, he replied. So okay. let's uh, move to another question. I, I have a question to Mr. Shribiastava. Uh, according to my, to my understanding, there exist a lot of theoretical approaches, I think some 10 or 12, to understand the low energy nuclear reactions or transmutations. What is, uh, according to your meaning, uh, your favorite theory, or f favorite theories. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I was, I'm very glad somebody asked me that, because I thought I would never be able to say what I wanted to say. Okay. If you find a low-energy nuclear reaction, I said if, with electrons and protons, then you have no choice in the standard model except to use the weak interactions. There is no other way. Okay? So, of course, if, as the other person who was asking the question, if you say there are no data that prove any of this, then, of course, I have nothing to say. Okay? So, I'm not an experimentalist. I take somebody who has done light water, they have done deuterated water, they show their results. In some cases, with protons or the hydrogen gas, they find certain derivatives are positive. For deuterons, for, for reasons we absolutely do not yeah, understand, it, 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 it just zero. starts, and yeah, then it zero. just starts increasing zero. again. So, okay, so what I'm saying is that probably all three reactions are needed because light water you definitely cannot do without weak interactions. Okay? So that you will, okay. If on the other hand, if there are some special properties, depending on the temperature, depending upon the surface concentrations, depending how much pumping you have done, you know, smart materials, <laughs> it could be that there are other things which we haven't yet dreamed up of, not only those 12 theories, but maybe others. But, but one thing I want to insist this lab showed there are three fundamental interactions. My small contribution is to say all three are needed. That's all. Okay, thanks for your answer. Yes? I would like to know, um, after 23 years of research and uh, 16 uh, or more international conferences, what the project a research project would be that you need the money for. 
I mean, obviously, there has been a lot of, an, a lot of effort. And, uh, okay. The people, uh, you just to have an, an idea, in the world, still now working with not so easy condition, were about 1,000, well, with, with, uh, with uh, very few budget, except Japan, enough. So our project, we are uh, 1,000 people, 1,000 head, and uh, we want to get the best possible. We are, we are, we, we are seeing that the nanomaterials is the material that can give the best result. So now the people looking to nanomaterials in every form is increasing every day. I get each day one to mail of people, never know. I want to try this special alloy. What do you think? I don't know. Try. <laughs> so people is increasing because since some of the um, weak point are less weak. We need some condition, some material, surface. So uh, we have to work. If we work well organized with good budget, we can reach the goal soon. If we continue this condition uh, without almost uh, without budget, we go slowly, slowly. We work anyway. Now it's too late to stop the research. We just can get the